Hi everyone, it's Nikki and today I'm going to talk about my Neurodivergent.exe sticker pack. If you don't want to know what Neurodivergent means, it's just a difference in mental or neurological function, basically um, the way you think. Um, it's a different way of thinking than is normal, um, than is typical. So there's neurodivergent brains and there's also neurotypical brains. Um, so neurodivergent brains would be more like um, people diagnosed with like autism, ADHD, etc. Um, but let me just preface all of this with saying that these stickers are for everyone. I'm not trying to gate keep planning or organization here. I feel like neurotypicals can benefit from these stickers just as much as neurodivergents. It's just that neurodivergent brains experience um, the problems that these stickers solve. They experience these traits um, much more strongly than neurotypicals, typically. Um, so that's my spiel about that. I'll put a pin in it and we'll get going and I'll show you the sticker book. I designed the sticker book to look like a desktop user interface. So you have the shortcut icons here um, on the desktop screen and the start menu and the taskbar down here. So you can click on the start menu and it brings you to this little note page. You click here to go to my Facebook group and get lots and lots of freebies if you want. You can go back to the desktop screen here and you can start clicking into the different sticker book categories by clicking on the shortcuts. So you can click on error here and it brings you to all the error messages which I've created to help keep you mindful of early and late warning signs that you might be experiencing physically or mentally. So hopefully we can notice these warning signs before we reach like, you know, full meltdown or shutdown um, using these like warning messages. And, you know, I have the warning messages, but I also have, you know, if you've reached that point and you are overstimulated or have reached like meltdown, we have these overload stickers. So um, you can use these stickers by themselves right here. You can copy and paste each of these individual stickers or you can lay them on top of um, this alert sticker and kind of elaborate on um, what's going on in this error message box. So that's kind of what I did there. From here we can click on the X button to go to the desktop window or we can click on any of the tabs up here um, to go to the next category. So we can go to goals here and this is the goal setting page. So goals are very important um, to start getting things done. And we can go into the next category. This is just prioritizing tasks. So this page is a little sneaky. Um, you have your break it down sticker right here which has all the priorities for you to break down a task. And I also have this one here which has four priorities instead of three. Um, but these are individual boxes that you can move. You can copy the individual sticker by just going off the background sticker here. So you can, you can do that. Or you can take the background sticker itself and take that. So you can copy any of these individual elements. This one, um, this one is solid, um, but you can build it using this background sticker and these priority stickers. So I've broken it down that way for you. Moving on, we can go to the next tab, which is kind of the special interests section that I've made. Um, it's got like various different blank boxes for you to fill out, but it also has this kind of special interest sticker. Um, so like I personally play Dungeons and Dragons, so this would be a really great way of me tracking how much time I'm spending playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I can write down little key events that happen in my game here. Maybe do a little screen cap of a picture that I took in the note section. Really, you can use this any way you want. Um, the progress can be, you know, how if we've completed a quest or something like that. But you can apply it to whatever hobby um, you have. This is the visual processing page, which obviously if we're using digital planners and stickers, then we're probably very visual people. So I've made these icons for you to kind of have your eye jump to certain areas on the page really easily that are kind of important. Um, so you can use these for that. Next up is the um, reminder alert. So this is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and then next is the focus tasks. So these you can kind of um, write down what you're hyper-focusing on for the day, kind of break that task down into like smaller chunks. You can do um, like your progress bar here um, or just focus on like one thing. 
um, two things and check if you're done with the task or not. Also, this little bubble, you can bubble it in. I like using this one for writing my focus tasks here and then this larger bubble here, writing my intention for the day. So if we move on to the task multiplying section, task multiplying is when you do a seemingly simple task, such as doing the dishes, but first you do the, like to do the dishes, you need to clean the countertops and sweep the kitchen floor and unload the dishwasher, etc. So you don't necessarily need to do those things to, um, do the dishes, but a lot of neurodivergent brains work that way. And so um, for task multiplying, for example, you can put the big task that you want to do here in the big area, um, and then all the little things that you need to do to get there. So um, like do the dishes, right? And then to do the dishes, you need to clean the countertops, unload the dishwasher, etc. So you can use these that way. I think these are very handy. I personally like these ones a lot. So the next page is super simple. It doesn't need any explanation really. It's just kind of to-do lists, various to-do lists. And then the next page is my task initiation sticker stickers. So many neurodivergent brains struggle with task initiation, which is just starting, uh, trouble with starting a task, getting a task started. Um, like getting a task started or completed even too. So you can improve your initiation to do tasks by scheduling smaller, more fun tasks um, at the very beginning of your to-do list, like to warm your brain up to start working on like heavier projects. So I've kind of done it this way, so where you can do um, lighter tasks all the way down to heavier tasks, um, or the fun tasks, the first do this, and then do that, you can do the heavier project here, etc. It goes on like that. Um, first do this, then do that, but without the text. Um, and then this task initiation sticker as well. First do this, then do that, but with lots of checkboxes for you. Next up is routines, which is super self-explanatory, but I really love the morning, afternoon, and evening routine stickers that I've made here. Very handy. So the last... Um, tab is the recycle bin, which let me explain that this is supposed to be empty. I made it empty because I had the idea that when you buy the sticker book, you can also use the sticker book to collect my Facebook group freebies in. Um, also, if you're a Jump Drive uh, email newsletter subscriber, you get access to my Jump Drive, which has even more freebies available. You can sign up on my website, uh, NikkiPlans.com. So this is supposed to be empty and basically you can collect um, my freebie stickers off my Facebook group and those are all PNGs, so not good notes files. So if you want to throw the PNGs here in your sticker book, you totally can. And guess what? You can duplicate the page over and over again. Super awesome and just keep going, you know? And all of these um, icons are still linked to all the other categories. So that's the neurodivergent sticker book. Okay, y'all, so that's the Neurodivergent sticker book. I hope y'all are very excited about this because I totally am. I worked so hard on this project and I really hope that y'all can see that this is um, a very big labor of love from me to y'all. And I really hope that these stickers really help keep y'all help keep y'all on task. And I hope these stickers help um, really solve some of these uh, executive dysfunctions that um, us neurodivergents kind of experience in our daily life. So... That's all, and I hope you all have a really great day, and thank you for watching my little video.